Once upon a time, in the heart of West Africa, Jali the prince, whose destiny was written in the stars. His name was Sanjita Kaita, born to a kingdom torn apart by strife and sword. Well, this day is supposed to be normal, but um, this air is not given. Mm. Hey, it was a lot of work. But you people, after that person, people will not even like and subscribe. Probably, even like you cannot like you people are mean. But let me continue, shall From the moment of his birth, Sanjita's life was touched by magic. Legend whispered that he was blessed with the strength of a lion and the wisdom of the ancient sage. Wow, that is a lot of English. A lot, a lot. But based on the fact that it's a story, let's continue. Yet, despite his extraordinary gifts, Sanjita's childhood was marked by tragedy, for he was unable to walk. A cruel twist of fate that filled his mother's heart with despair. So he was equipped. Wow. How? How? Like, he was equipped, though, because... It does a lot to believe still believe in yourself after knowing you can no work and everybody else can. Mm. Shout out to him though. Anyway, it's been far off ancient story, but shout out to him. However, Sanchita was no ordinary child and the spirit of the lion burned fiercely within him. With each passing day he grew stronger. His determination on Gildan as the African son. Let me stop here small. Using AI to actually create the story is one thing because Jesus, seeing the lions that AI used to bring, there was one that cracked me up. But yeah, let's continue. And so, guided by the whispers of his ancestors, Sanjita embarked on a journey that would change the course of history. This is a very important story. Y'all should listen. Mm. Venturing into the wilderness, Sanjita encountered creatures of wonder and mystery. How wonderful is this? Do you think this happened? From the majestic elephant to the elusive leopard. You know, it is truly a myth. Along the way, he learned that the secret of the land and forged alliance with the spirits of the earth and the sky. Isn't this amazing how folk tales are so beautiful, like imaginations and all? However, armed with the knowledge of his forefathers and the courage of his conviction, Sanjita returned to his homeland where a great challenge awaited him. For the kingdom of Mali lay in ruins, his people oppressed by a tyrant king who ruled with iron fist. Is it giving like normal, like folktale stories or like have you seen movies about historic stories where there is a tyrant and then there is a savior that is coming to save the people from the tyrant i think that's what is given though and even with the art stacked against him sanjita rallied his fellow warriors to his side his heart beating as one beneath the african sky but the row of lions and the thunders of drum he marched into battle their spirits unbreakable as the wars of the mighty fortress. This is just reminding me so much of the Viking movies. Like, you remember that? You know, Iva was scrapered. Like, he eventually became strong. I think that's relatively what, what I picture when I picture Sanjita. Iva as a black person, yeah. Anyways, I don't know why I keep saying Sanjita. It's supposed to be Sanjita, right? Yeah. Where am I, Malians? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Let's continue. In the midst of the chaos and the carnage, Sanjaita faced his greatest foe, a sorcerer of dark magic who sought to twat his destiny. But Sanjaita was not alone, for the spirit of his ancestors washed over him, to blessings guiding his hands. Wow, sorcerer. There is always a sorcerer that, like, they are always wicked and black, and I don't know. Why are they always like that? Why don't they look prettier? But yeah, like, AI yeah, generated the picture. Yes. With a mighty cry, Sanjata unleashed the power of a lion within him, striking down his enemy with a single blow. And as the dust settled and the sun dipped below the horizon, a new era dawned in the land of Mali, a golden age of peace and prosperity, born with courage of a lion hearted prince. I keep trying to generate something for this lion hearted prince. It's hard. Because AI keeps showing me a human body with a, with a lion head. That is not pretty at all. Not pretty. 
But yeah, we're getting to the end, and so let's stay focused. And so, the legend of Sundai Dakaita and the Mali and Ba lived on a timeless tale of heroism and the hope that inspired generations to come. For in the heart of the West Africa, where the lions roll, still acres through the savannah, the spirit of Sanjaita remains alive, a beacon of light in the war filled with darkness. Yeah, I think this is amazing. So yes, this is not just a story. This is a historic fact. And Sanjaita Kaita, known as the Lion King, was the founder of Mali Empire in the 13th century. His story is celebrated in West Africa oral tradition and literature, particularly in epic Sanjaita. Sanjaita's rise to power, overcoming personal challenges and uniting diverse people, highlights the resistance of the greatness of West African civilization. So, so this is more than just a story, it's a history. So when you look at this story and you enjoy it, do not forget there is somebody like Sundaita Kaita of the Mali Empire. Thanks for watching. Please, if you're interested in more stories like this, I promise you it will keep coming. So like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you.